everyone, it's Vicky from Minerva. I'm really excited to share with you today that we have got the brand new issue of Simplicity Patterns in stock now at Minerva. Now this issue was a whopper. I think it was actually two issues in one because there were just so many new patterns there, and there are so many lovely ones. I think you're really gonna love this, this season. Um, and in these videos, I usually like to pick you know, five or six patterns to share with you. I've actually got 10 today because I found it impossible to limit it down anymore there's just so many lovely ones so I've got some children some children's wear a teenager patterns a men's wear pattern and then lots of really lovely um, women's wear ones as well um, and yeah these are all in stock on the website now like I say I've only picked 10 of my favorites so we will put a link below to where you can see the whole collection of new sewing simplicity sewing patterns and do check them out if you're interested because there's there's just so many gorgeous patterns this time so let's get stuck into them so the first new pattern I wanted to share with you so this is one of those patterns where what the big four pattern companies are doing now when they um, release a size inclusive pattern so that covers sizes 4 to 38 they're actually splitting it over two pattern numbers so the smaller of the two sizes in this case is number 9707 and that covers sizes 4 to 20 and uh, pattern number 9708, that's the same pattern, but it covers sizes 20 to 38. Um, so it's a fantastic size range there, and the big four pattern companies are definitely doing this more and more now, where they're bringing out patterns with the full selection of sizes. Um, you know, so it's not on everything yet, but it's definitely going in the right direction, which is brilliant to see. Now this particular pattern, so this um, is a shirt pattern, it's a little bit oversized, quite simple in lots of ways, um, but it's just a really great classic oversized shirt. And I think oversized shirts, I'm seeing them everywhere at the moment, they seem to be really on trend, and I think it's a lovely... Um, it's a lovely style to kind of get your teeth stuck into to sew. And what I really love about this pattern is it's actually one of their easy to sew patterns. So if you're new to shirt making, this could be a really good pattern to start with. Um, and in terms of fabrics, um, so the pattern's recommending silky types, crepes, rayons, sateen, lightweight denim, flannels. I think you could also make it out of like a cotton lawn or a cotton poplin, something like that, a cotton Swiss dot. So lots of options with this pattern. Now the fabric that I've chosen is a new range to us at Minerva. We've only stocked this um, for, um, earlier this year, since earlier this year. And this is our um, viscose linen look slub, fa slub fabric so it's it looks like linen in one way and that it has you know those slubby um that slubby texture in the weave of the fabric which i really love because i think you know it just adds something adds a little bit of character to an otherwise plain fabric but it has no linen in there at all it's completely made of viscose with elastane so it is a woven fabric but it has a little bit of stretch so none um, down the length, but just a little bit across the width. So you absolutely still treat this like a woven fabric, not a knit, um, because it, you know, it is woven just with added elastane and that's what gives it that little bit of stretch. So that's gonna make, on a shirt like this, it's just gonna give a little bit of wiggle room and it's just gonna be even comfier to wear. Um, and yeah, what I think would be lovely for this pattern is, I mean, you can see the incredible drape that that fabric has. It's just gorgeous and I think on um, you know a shirt like this it's going to make it more of a blouse kind of look as opposed to like a traditional quite stiff structured looking shirt. It's going to be a soft and drapey beautiful blouse and I think that will be gorgeous to wear in, in uh, spring, summer and autumn times uh, even you know through winter with those longer sleeves. Um, yeah that's gorgeous and with this being one of our core ranges it's available in a whole range of colours, loads of colours in that one and it's a fantastic price point too so yeah we're really excited about this new core range. The next couple of patterns I've got, these are both from Mimi G and I mean we're, we're huge fans of Mimi G here at Minerva and it's always really exciting to see your new patterns but I must say these two I just think are gorgeous. They're some of my favourite patterns she has done in a long time and, and I always love her patterns so that, that really is saying something. So the first one is number 9701 and this is a fitted dress um, so you've got to make this in a knit fabric because it'll have negative ease um, and 
it's it's really simple so it's kind of hard to describe why I love it so much in a way I think it's this gorgeous neckline shape when you when you see it on the images we'll insert hopefully you'll see what I mean it's like it's not square but it's not round you know it's not like a normal kind of round shape it's like a rounded square neckline that's kind of how I see it anyway let me know what you think in the comments and I just think it's so flattering so pretty perfect to wear you know some like statement jewelry with it um, and the rest of the dress just really simple um, really really lovely now I think a ribbed fabric is perfect for this dress because you need a knit fabric that has good recovery because it's going to have to stretch to fit you so you don't want a knit that stretches and then doesn't ping back into shape because that would you know would, would sort of sag out of shape over time um, and rib fabrics are particularly stretchy so this one I've gone for this is one of our core ranges uh, we actually started stocking this one last year in a whole range of colours and it is the most beautiful quality viscose rib jersey fabric which has um, elastane content added as well um, for, for you know for even more stretch and it you, know, you can see the stretch on that fabric and you know it has some in that direction as well. All these stretch percentage details are on our website as always. Um, I've gone for this ivory cream colour because I was inspired by the version on the envelope but you know it comes in a whole range of colours and it, it just has a beautiful weight does this fabric. Um, the ivory colour here um, you know it because of the weight to me you would need to worry about you know lining that even though it's a very fitted garment and certainly in the darker colours you know it's going to be absolutely fine for such a figure hug hugging garment like this the stretch and the recovery in it you know you can see how that pings back it's just going to make yeah it's the perfect accompaniment to that pattern i think now the next pattern i've got like i say another mimi g one so this is number 9714 and i think this is going to be really popular it's a very relaxed casual suit and i just there are so many gorgeous details on it i think it's i think it's beautiful it's quite simple again in lots of ways, yet there's just something about the cut of it that I think is fabulous. So included in the pattern, you get a trouser or um, a short option, and um, they are an elasticated waist, um, which you know will be nice and comfortable to wear. And just the cut of those trousers, I think looks really lovely. You know, you can see that she's styled here the, the trousers with some uh, trainers and the shorts with some heels. So, you know, whether you want to dress it up or more casual, it works either way. And then the star of the show for me on this pattern is the jacket. So it has, um, you know, a gorgeous collar detail. Um, it's it's worn here on the envelope with the cut, like the sleeves turned up, which I think adds to that whole casual vibe. And what I love is the fastening. So. Um, it, it basically ties at one side so rather than like a buttonhole fastening or leaving it sort of unfastened it just ties quite sort of loosely again that casual vibe uh, pockets as well it's really really love it let me know what you think of this pattern in the comments because I, I fell in love with this one when I saw it um, so I'm intrigued to see if other people you know love it as much as I do now, very much, it, it looks like to me on the envelope that Mimi, has, uh, Mimi G has sewn it up in a linen fabric and I think that's perfect for this pattern. It really suits the casual laid back vibes of it. So I have chosen, again in total inspired uh, by the version on the envelope, I have chosen our ivory coloured blades linen fabric. So this is a cotton and linen blend. It's, um, it has a gorgeous texture. It's not particularly a slubby texture on this particular linen, but it is very textured. It has quite like a loose, um, uh, like a, a well, a very textured weave to it. So it's not sheer or see-through at all. Um, and you know, it comes in a whole range of colors. So, I mean, I particularly love the, the cream ivory version on the envelope there, which is why I went for this colorway. But there's every colour of the, under the rainbow in this particular fabric and it has um, you know with it being linen and cotton blended it doesn't crease as much as 100% linen which I think for you know styles of garments like this that you're going to wear all the time that that's a, a plus point to it and I think just that wonderful texture that it has um, and it has a good you know structure yet it's beautifully soft as well for me that's yeah it just makes it absolutely perfect for that pattern so next up we'll have a look at the children's wear patterns. So I've got two um, uh, two patterns that are um, aimed at, uh, they've got teenager 
ages in them as well and then one that's aimed at very young children so we'll start with the younger child first so this one is number uh, 9760 it's another easy to sew pattern so that's great and the size range on this is from six months old to four years and it's a really super pretty button up shirt dress it's absolutely gorgeous. There's all different options. You can have it sleeveless with a simple short sleeve, with a puff sleeve. You can have it with a collar or just a simple round neckline. And all of the versions have a gathered skirt that go into that waistband. It's just so pretty. I think it's beautiful. Now the version that I was inspired by was this one on the envelope, which is actually colour blocking the dress. I think that's really, really lovely, and just you know, for that age range, I think it's it's you know, it's quite playful. It's just really, really cute, isn't it? So I've chosen three of our uh, poly cotton print fabrics. So I've gone for this um, floral print design which is, is actually classed as what's classed as a lacquer print. So this is basically, um, a, a, like this particular version, is a mint green polycotton that's had this white lacquer print put over the top. So it has a slight texture to it on the surface that's really lovely. And yeah, it's a really, obviously you can see, it's a really subtle print. Um, if you can't quite see the details of that on camera, then um, hopefully, uh, well, if you look at the um, products on Minerva, you'll be able to see close-up photos. But it's just like a little ditzy floral print, really pretty. And so I picked out the mint green, um, the pastel pink colour, which is this one here. And then I also picked out the pale blue colour. So as you can see, they're all pastel shades. I think they all work really well together. Like that. I thought those three together would work really well. And I thought with it being such quite a, a subtle, understated print, that would allow the colour blocking on the garment to shine. Um, and yeah, and, and poly cotton is... You know, it's definitely at the cheaper end price point with fabrics. It's maybe not quite so luxurious as, you know, some of our pure cotton fabrics and others that we have on the site. However, you know, this is for a small child that, you know, they, they are going to grow out of. Um, and, you know, it is for a garment like that. It is absolutely it's it's a beautiful fabric to, to use um, and you know it, it has a lovely sort of structure to it that's really going to hold a sharp point on the collar and um, it's going to be lovely for the the button details the skirt is going to hold its shape beautifully so yeah it's it's a fantastic uh, you know poly cottons we always find are really popular for children's clothes just because you know they are um, at the slightly you know cheaper end of the price point and um, yeah and they just come in loads of really fun prints and like this one you know I was able to get three really gorgeous pastel colours that I think would recreate that look on the envelope so so well so the next pattern I've got, so this one is, um, this pattern is number 9722 and this one is like a, a jumpsuit pattern, um, so a jumpsuit, a romper or it actually has a dress version as well. And this one covers sizes aged 3 to 14, so different size range to, um, to, well, to both the last pattern and the one that's coming up next. So this one has the biggest size range in this one. And what I really love about this, I think the jumpsuit options in particular, they look really comfy, casual, the type of things that, you know, a child of that kind of age range could wear all the time. And I really love, like, the version that they've made on the envelope. They've actually used bias binding around the pocket details, and they've used a similar colour, like, contrast uh, zip as well. And I think it, it just, you know, it just adds something, doesn't it? It's, it just makes it extra special. So I was totally influenced by that version on the envelope, as you'll see from my uh, fabric choice. And this fabric um, is our washed denim. It's our lighter weight denim. So you'll see, you know, it's, it is a denim as opposed to a chambray in just the way it's made. Um, but weight wise, you know, if you think of a chambray weight, it's quite similar to that really. So it's really soft. 
it's going to be, you know, it's certainly not see-through, um, you know, it certainly has uh, enough weight and uh, body to make a jumpsuit like this, but because it's, it's at the lighter end of the weight scale, you know, it's going to be comfortable and soft and just really lovely and comfortable to wear. So I thought that would make, I mean, any of the options on the, on the pattern, the jumpsuit or the dress would be lovely. And then I thought I'd show you just literally, um, so this is our uh, bias binding that we sell per pack and um, this is a really lovely uh, pink colourway which you know just looks like the version on the envelope so you could team that with this beautiful blue denim fabric and use that to you know to edge all the gar all the uh, pocket pieces uh, and just around the collar there we also have some cerise pink zips that would match so you could really recreate the look on the envelope with those i think that would be absolutely gorgeous so the next pattern I've got, so this is the last in the children's wear section. Now this one is aimed at a slightly older child, so the sizes on this one run from age 7 to age 14. And um, th this pattern um, includes shirts and shirt dresses. So you have lots of different options, um, but it's quite a traditional, um, you know, quite a simple really shirt collar design, obviously button up the front, and then you've shorter or longer sleeve options. Um, you also get a pattern for the cap included as well actually, so there are five different um, views included in the one pattern. And what I really loved, again I think the styling on the this particular issue of Simplicity Patterns has been really great, and I loved the colour blocking that they did on this um, version that's been sewn upon the envelope. So you can see I was totally inspired by that. <laughs> Um, and this fabric that I've chose that I think would just be absolutely perfect for this pattern this is our lightweight cotton poplin fabric so this is 100% cotton beautiful quality crisp yet soft it's got structure it's going to hold that collar the cuffs the, the, um, the button band it would just be perfect for this pattern and then these three colours I thought recreated the look on the envelope wonderfully and what a, just what a gorgeous colour palette that is. So we've got this beautiful yellow, the, um, the turquoise colour, and the lime green there. Don't they just look really, really fresh, summery, colourful, bright, just so such a cheerful colour palette, I think. Um, but in this particular fabric, it is one of our core ranges, so it comes in a whole selection of colours. So whatever colour palette you were looking to create, you know, if you wanted to do the colour block version on the envelope, then you will be able to recreate it with these um, with this range of fabrics. Um, or of course, you know, just pick a cotton or a cotton poplin in one colour or in a print, and you know, sewing that pattern up, it would be just lovely. So we're getting towards the end now, so the next pattern I've got, this is a menswear pattern and this has been designed by Norris Danter Ford who is Mimi G's husband and I think this is fantastic. Now we have quite a few uh, men's sewers in the offices here at Minerva and when they looked at this they really liked this pattern. When I looked at it I thought it would be a really popular one for men's sewers um, but they kind of like backed, you know, they confirmed what, what I was thinking on that. Um, and yeah, it's it's a, um, a shirt pattern and shorts in the one pattern. So Norris there is wearing the two together as like um you know all one outfit. And again, it's one of those patterns, a little bit like the Mimi G ones earlier. It's quite simple in a way, so it's quite hard to describe why I think it's so lovely. But there's just something about the cut and um, you know the proportions. I think of this shirt along with those shorts which I think are just a just a great wearable pattern aren't they for the summer with that drawstring waist and the pockets really really lovely I love how he's done it in this like sort of pinky raspberry colour on the envelope I think that's really lovely and the fabric I've chose again it's kind of inspired by the envelope but this is our yarn dyed cotton chambray fabric now we did uh, we do as well have a, a more pinky colour which is actually quite similar to the envelope um, but I've chose this one which is it's classed as red but as you'll see it's not like a, a bright true like sort of uh, 
uh, scarlet red or anything like that and that's because this is a chambray fabric so one of the threads woven into it is the red colour and the other thread is the white colour um, so it creates this like sort of tweedy texture in the weave which is really lovely and just adds something to a you know an otherwise plain fabric so and, and that it to me on the envelope it looks like they've used a chambray fabric so I thought that would be perfect and it comes in a whole range of colours like I say if you really love the pink look on the envelope we do have one very similar to that and um, we also have you know your traditional blues and greys and then all of the colours as well in that range so the last three patterns I've got are all women's wear and I've got a top, a dress and a jacket pattern. So we'll start with the jacket. So this is number 9713 and I just fell in love with this pattern. I think it's it's definitely, uh, it's, it's quite an unusual jacket but it's, it's the sort of style that I really love. I mean, I love the high-low hem on it. I love the pocket details. I love the raglan sleeve. I love the popper um, uh, fastening. And then it has, has the option for a hood. You've got different length options. I think for a spring, a summer or even autumn jacket so the time of year when you need you know you don't want a big woolen coat you don't want anything too heavy but you still need you know you still need a jacket or a, or a lighter weight coat to be able to go go out in um, I think this is a really lovely option and just something a little bit different you know especially that longer length one that has the fullness at the bottom um, and that dipped hem at the back really really lovely now, I, uh, in terms of fabric, I think I've got the perfect, the perfect fabric for this. Now, this is our um, Riviera coated um, coating fabric. So it's not water um, waterproof, but it is water resistant. So that basically means, like, if you look on the back of it, you can see it's had this coating applied. That means that when water hits the surface, it just runs off. Um, now, it, for fabrics to be classed as waterproof, they have to go through a, a, a huge amount of testing. Um, so that's why most of the time you won't find fabrics that are actually classed as waterproof. You know, it's far more common to find them that are called water resistant, like this one. Um, and you know, apart from maybe some, you know, really, really extreme conditions, it practically means the same thing. You know, water is going to hit it and it's going to run off the fabric. So I thought that would be lovely for a spring, summer, autumn jacket because let's face it, certainly here in the UK, we still get showers, even uh, even in the height of summer. So I thought this would be lovely. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's still, it's lighter weight. It's not going to be a particularly really warm jacket in this, you know, like a, it would be if you made it in a wool. Um, but it's you know it's going to be just be a nice weight for springs and summer and it has a beautiful texture this fabric as well which i think really adds to that kind of almost like raincoat kind of vibe um, and it, this is our khaki green color but it comes in lots of different colors as well so the next pattern i've got so this is number 9746 and this is another easy to sew pattern and it's the most beautiful dress i think this is so pretty it's one of my favorite patterns from the collection this one and um so there's three different options um three different views in the pattern and uh two of them have like an asymmetric um, uh, sort of you know like one strap detail that ties on the shoulder and then it has this like band across um, that um, sort of like diagonal line on the bodice with gathers into it and then it draws in at the waist and the, the skirt section is made of three tiers or there's a shorter option with just two tiers. So if you love tiers and gathers and that sort of floaty, romantic, really pretty kind of look in a dress, I think you'll love this one. If you're not really a fan of like the asymmetric look, then view A is practically the same as view B, except it has then a layer over the top. So it's it creates like a V neckline with ties on both shoulders. So just such a super pretty um, dress for summer this one and I think our Minerva exclusive viscose chalet fabric is just perfect for it so I chose this really pretty summery um, floral print this is called Femme Fatale and it's I think the the look of this print the the feminine romantic girly sort of colours and vibes in this really suits that pattern I just think that will be absolutely beautiful 
And then the last pattern I've got to share with you today, so this is number 9749 and this is a top pattern um, that has four different views in the pattern, so loads of different options. They all have a very square, um, uh, well sorry, um, like um, gathered details of the shoulders that come down and then into a v-neck at the front and a square at the back, so they have quite like dramatic sort of uh, necklines and, and shaping at the back. Um, they all have uh, puff sleeves um, that draw in at about a three quarter length and then the main differences on these patterns are in the bodice. So view A is just a very simple like kind of loose fit, um, loose fit um, just very plain simple top. View B is more of a crop version that draws in at the bottom. View C um, which is the view on the envelope so that pulls in and then has like an extra gathered layer at the bottom so it almost creates like a peplum kind of look and it has a, a triangle cut out and then view D is the same as view C but without that triangle cut out so we know you know cut outs are really on trend at the moment but if that's just not your thing to you know show off any skin there then view D um, uh, you know you've got the option not to do that now I think uh, any kind of like woven fabric that's you know light to medium weight so chambres, cottons Gingham's, linen blends, poplins are all lovely, but I chose I actually chose um, a viscose chalet again for this one because I think the sleeve would hang beautifully in that. All of the gathers um, on around you know the shoulder and around the neckline. If you went for one of uh, you know either C or D and it has that ruffle along the bottom, that would be that would just hang beautifully in viscose chalet. So I went for this. This is one of our brand new prints called Seedling Shimmer and I just love this print. It's one of my absolute favourites. To me this looks like petals that have fallen onto water and have just scattered on the surface. And it's got a very deep blue, navy blue background with this beautiful colour palette all over the, in those little dots or petals. It'd be really, really pretty and a lovely scale of print for this top as well. So that's all the patterns I had to share with you. So that was 10 patterns today. I know there's quite a lot to get through. So thanks for sticking with me. I hope you found that really inspiring. Um, like I said, that's just a small um, scratching of the surface of the new issue of patterns. There was so many this time. So do check out the link that we'll put below that will direct you to our website where all the new Simplicity patterns are. There's so many good ones uh, beyond those as well that I've shared with you today. So it's definitely worth checking that out. Uh, as always below this video I will tag everything that I've mentioned today so all the patterns and the fabrics and you'll be able to find all those below this video. Um, as always on Minerva if you're a member of our craft club you'll be able to save 10% off everything that I've mentioned today so do check that out if you're interested and as always at Minerva we do offer free worldwide uh, super fast delivery options um, so yeah you'll always get that on our website. Um, we'd love to welcome you to join the Minerva community. So if you haven't visited Minerva before, um, or this is your first time, please, you, you'll see the wonderful sewing community that we have there. It's right on the homepage of our website. And uh, you know, it's a place for sewists from all over the world to come together and you know, join a, a sewing community online that's focused just on sewing. So you, know, you can share your makes, you can sh share your sewing plans, you can ask the community for tips and advice, you can um, plan and track your projects on there, you can save um, things that you've, um, you know, if you see a wonderful um, garment that somebody's made, you can save that as inspiration for later you can follow your favorite makers and just generally to look at what people are making and sharing on the site it's such an inspiring part of the internet to uh, to spend some time so yeah please do we'd love to welcome you to create a free account and uh, join our wonderful community there that's growing every single day so thank you very much for watching today i hope to see you on Minerva soon and i'll be back again soon with another video filled with sewing and fabric goodness